Hello guys, welcome back to the Join World of Tanks, where everyone can get lucky sometimes, even a noob like me. Yeah, so I'm on Sand River Encounter Battle. It's a tier nine battle. I'm on my tier six Chinese light tank, the five nine sixteen. Kinda hard to pronounce that. Um, anyway, I early at the game I decided to go up to the hill, and for this, some of you might say, "Oh my God, what are you doing? You are a light tank. You are supposed to, you know, scout thing, running here and there, probably, uh, uh, go to strategic bush camping area at front and spotting the enemy." Well, in Sand River, there there are no bush that I know that is a strategic place, uh, and the only thing that I know uh, is a place for effective aggressive scouting is, uh, let's say, in, in this you no know, middle area. Can you pick up the map? Yes, uh, in this middle area. The thing is. If I spawn from this east, uh, this east base, uh, I, I kind of doubt the effectiveness uh, of the aggressive spotting in there because even though I can spot the enemy, the enemies that crossing this place, uh, this road, my team will not be able to shoot them. And when they are already in this place, my team, which preferably be the the tank destroyer that coming here still cannot shoot them because the the small mountain something or the ridge line. A different story will be have if uh, I spawn from this side from this uh, north uh, northwest uh, base because if I spot from the north I can spot the enemies in, in the middle and the tank destroyers uh, or perhaps in this case a heavy tank yeah. can shoot the enemies that in here boom boom which make it worth it to scout over this uh, hill but if I spawn from this uh, side this is south base um, I don't know I'm, I think that will be uh, you know very risky and uh, and kind of useless thing to do and of course, I do not know how to scout in here effectively, so I decided to go to the hill. And even from the hill, I can actually still spot the enemies from there, from my artillery. Uh, we only have one, by the way. Uh, but mainly uh, to give uh, fire support, even though uh, my tank is not exactly for no, fire support. Probably distracting the enemies to shoot me instead of to shoot my friends in this, in this uh, place uh, I mean my gun only have like I'd say uh, 112mm of penetration and 85 of damage as you can see in here I already give that Centurion 1 a massive 77 damage <laughs> yeah well what can I do no, my priorities at that time I think that I should stay alive as long as possible and you know probably I can capitalize uh, the middle to end parts of the, this battle so anyway back to the first version view and that's the type 61 uh, at that time I thought that the type 61 is actually tier 6 uh, medium chi tank a Chinese medium tank this is why I kind of like you know, what I bounce. I can't even penetrate the tier six medium tank. I'm like, oh my God, this is gun so sad. And only now that I realize that the Type 61 is actually tier nine. <laughs> so yeah. Oops. Hello. There's IS3, and I don't want to get stuck in there because I cannot one shot that IS3. So I decided to distract the enemy uh, trying to take pot shot but no fail oh and 
there you go I distract the enemy instead of shooting my friends like the E75 or the he actually shooting me <laughs> Ooh, our centurion is died now this is uh, there are still a lot of and we tanks with T9 and we tanks in here so yeah oh maybe I yes, three just died so let's poke this and heal and see if we can take it out that welcome trigger our sphere manager for I'm not sure uh, pronounce it right but at least I kill that weapon drive curve for <laughs> okay and already we have uh, someone complaining in my team oh, it's okay um, this, uh, at this time I realized that whoa there's only like one allies there and now there is no more allies so I decided to you know just charge uh, my intention was to oh, get at least I can get the artillery and, and uh yeah well at least uh, i can do that hopefully and wow what a surprise <laughs> the artillery is over there home. so i you know auto aim because i want to concentrate on my driving let's try to take two in that type 61 trying to get me oh miss again thank god so let's I, I decide to kill the artillery and not run away from the type 61 or whatever cost even if I die I was oh and he hit me with type 61 trying to run away <laughs> okay okay let's run oh he's over there oops thank you he blown a track and he actually fell into the river over there well, oh, thank you. I can one shot you then. <laughs> okay, so wow. Yeah, we looking even right now, but they still have very dangerous tank with Chatorian Mark 7. Oh, and that object 705, very, very dangerous 39 Russian tank destroyers. Luckily, he's on uh, low health, and wow, that is stupid for me to knock down that tree. And anyway, I decided to hunt that. Object 704 because uh, yeah, I think I can want to one shot him and of course I load my premium rounds uh, Just to make sure that I can shoot him Woo! And I kind of luck very lucky to be able to kick that guy. Oh And there's a PZSFL 4 uh, And I'm definitely do not want to engage that because uh, this and the uh, full health and that Centurion Mark 7 is only at 14 health so yeah let's use the, this little thing mobility to get around behind him and give him a little nice surprise <laughs> I kind of fly uh, jumping from the bum to bum oh again <laughs> um, luckily I don't damage my track <laughs> otherwise that would be that would be very bad oh hello centurion I got you but boom and die okay now I'm gonna get that the 30 a surprise I'm gonna turn around oh and uh oh okay yeah uh, the T30 is dead so there's only one enemy left And <laughs> our Black Prince has drawn himself. I'm not really sure where he's, <laughs> he's probably sleep off. <laughs> oh well, bad luck for you guys. So, I I told my team that I will try to spot him and let and hopefully let them finish off the injured SFL4 because he's on full health and. I'm not really sure. Uh, the T5 tank destroyer have uh, around. Oh, I jump again. Uh, the T5 tank destroyer, the will SFL. I'm, I'm not really sure, but I think can shoot one shot me. Hmm. Oh, there he is. And at this moment, I kind of hesitate where his gun is pointing, so I stop. I'm kind of stupid, probably. But he's off the radar at the moment and try to poke 
fuck, fucking, fucking, oh, and he's turning his gun to me, and he missed, and I decided, well, oh, you know what, screw this, I will shoot him, oh, and he shot me, and I get very, very lucky, that I still have 48 health, he didn't one shot me, and finally, I got my top gun, and what's better, and I don't know, looking back, uh, this game, I think I should, I could have done better by, you know, just charging the ZSFL for the end of the game and just, uh, you know, try to circle him around. Because, uh, look at this, I got like 48 health left. And I was very, very lucky, so, yeah. Anyway, uh, let's go to the post games. Map. So, here goes the post game stat. I got uh, 31,000 something credits, uh, 5,000 something experience, but this is uh, for the three times uh, even. And I got the Orlix medal. What's that? Uh, awarded for destroying three armor and tanks. Uh, or tank destroyer with a light tank, okay. And it has to be two tier. Ah, yeah, uh, okay. I'm not really sure what it said. Uh, okay, uh, top gun uh, and uh, cause uh, ace tanker. Let's see uh, team score. I finished second actually. This 28 for the lap has a really monster game. You get 3000 damage. And uh, the E75 also got uh, like 3000 damage. It's uh, actually the highest damage dealer in, the, in our team, in my team. But in he, he only got, you no, know, like 800 something experience because he's tier 9 and probably shooting the lower tier. I, in other hand, only got like 1200 damage, but got a lot of experience because I'm only tier uh, 6 and I shooting at mm, tier no, 9, 8, something like that, and then uh, it is uh, very interesting to see, and uh, as you can see, I kind of missed a lot, uh, 32 shots, only hit 24, and that from that 24, only penetrate like 19 of them. The damage, uh, yeah, 12,041, oh no, 1200, 1241 damage. And I got uh, penetrated three times, but uh, one of them, I believe, was uh, shot in the track by that type 61. And uh, interestingly, <laughs> I got only like <laughs> 39 spotting damage. So yeah, it's, I'm not actually doing the light tank job in here. And let's see. Uh, I also only spotted like you know, <laughs> two things. <laughs> so, uh, you could say that I'm actually a failed scout in this thing. Uh, I'm not really sure what I'm doing, but uh, I'm kind of happy. It's okay because uh, I got a lot of experience. Uh, look at this, uh, 5,000 something. I still managed to get uh, 15,000 credit. So, there you go. my very very lucky games where I actually failed to do my scouting job I I probably become more like a flanker and a cleaner in this game but it you know, it, it done me well actually I got massive badge and stuff like that anyway um, that's all from me right now and I'll see you next time